Hi everyone and thank you for watching Vintage Newscast um, and I would also like to say thank you to all of my new subscribers. Um, I would like to share with you something. You know, I always felt that um, I'm a much better blogger than I am a YouTuber and um, thus, you know, I, I decided to focus more on, on my uh, music blog. However, um, a couple of weeks ago, I came into a situation that I'd like to share. You know, I always felt that if I showed people, you know, how easy music streaming is, like Spotify or iTunes or Pandora or whatever it is, that more people of my age group would, would use them. Um, but I had a learning lesson not too long ago to where I realized, you know, um, easy is relative to where you at in, um, in terms of computers and, and, and mobile technology. Um, I didn't realize just how many um, people are still struggling with learning uh, technology and it's a lot to learn. It's a lot and there aren't that many videos that um, teaches about a particular technology without being technical. Um, and so, you know, so it's difficult. Um, there are three issues, um, huge issues that I, that, that I see right now, at least in terms of um, music streaming. Um, and that is, I forgot what the number is, but I'll just round it off. Um, I think it's anywhere from 16, age 16 and 23 or something like that are the age groups that are born into the music streaming technology. Um, these are the age groups that are finally making um, it worthwhile for the music business. Those age groups are helping to um, make the music labels or the artists money. You have the other age group, I, I would say between the ages of 24 and maybe 35, 35, 40, who grew up in the Napster area, era to where no matter what you say, no matter what you do, they will never use music streaming, they will never buy from iTunes, they will always use torrents, and they will always hack and use cracks. Just, just nothing. Even though a lot of them say they still buy music, I still call bullshit. I don't think most of them buys music. You know, on the other hand, you know, there aren't that many good music in comparison. So I also understand from the standpoint of, you know, you don't want to pay for, you know, crappy music either. You know, so um, nevertheless, we also should be using streaming anyway. So, and then there's the other age group between the 40 um, plus and up, where we're still in the cassette, CDs, and 8-track era, who has, sees um, no point or have no desire in using music streaming services because you have all the music that you could ever want, you know, um, which is also still just as much as a problem. They don't see how, you know, um, by searching for your old school music or using streaming services, how you have a much better quality, you're not hearing a pops and cracks anymore. Um, the convenience of just being able to search and within seconds you can, you know, you can uh, uh, find all the old school music you want. Um, and at this point, um, um, services like Spotify has well over 40 million um, plus uh, music. That is the unofficial number, by the way. But I am pretty confident, even though they haven't, you know, um, put it on paper, most people um, staff members would tell you off the book they'll they'll say about 40 million by now um, that's a lot of music you know um, you don't have to worry about 
you don't need a VPN. You don't have to worry about all these tools that people use to hide themselves so they don't get in trouble and, you, you know, all these uh, things. I mean, Spotify is free. You know, you don't, you don't need to um, hack anymore or steal music anymore. Spotify is free, you know. I mean, and it's so strange because a lot of people won't use Spotify, which Spotify is designed for music lovers. They'll say, I'd rather use YouTube, but YouTube, you, you're watching more ads on YouTube than you would with Spotify. I don't get it, you know, but I guess, again, it's the mindset. So anyway, having said that, I decided that maybe I should revisit um, doing YouTube uh, videos again, uh, focusing on uh, various um, technologies, uh, most likely probably, you know, music streaming, and, you know, just start teaching people from the perspective of, you know, people in my age group, you know, and, and to do videos where it is assumed that you know, you know, all these technical jargons that's being thrown around all over the place. You know, um, I want to try to create videos for real people, real people who aren't tech savvy or people who aren't, um, you know, um, technicians in some company, you know, somewhere. Um, I want to talk to, you know, real people who just don't know or too embarrassed to ask or um, are just overwhelmed or don't know where to start. Um, and I think there's a need for it because I really try to search around on YouTube. There aren't that many um, tutorials on streaming. You know, if you look up Spotify right now, most of the videos that I that I've seen appear to be geared towards you know how to make money on Spotify, and nothing really uh, that focuses on how to use Spotify. You know, um, and again, it was a wake up call for me, you know, um, what's very easy to me, um, would not be easy to, you know, for someone else, um, so, um, and plus I think that these videos could possibly also help my blog, because obviously my subscriber base is growing, so, you know, I, I, I think I'm going to do this, now I'm still going to be uploading movies, you know, um, I'm just going to um, upload these videos, these added videos, just so that I don't have to go through the trouble of creating an extra channel. If later on down the line I feel that it's necessary to create another channel, I will. But um, I, right now, I really just don't see a need. Uh, so, you know, um, I, I was thinking about making it um, a Spotify, you know, channel, you know, just, um, teaching Spotify things, but, um, I think it'd be better to, uh, probably just talk about music streaming in general, maybe how to's, maybe, you know, some useful information that I find or I think of that, that I may feel that it, you know, beneficial to people who are used or, um, or I feel it would be beneficial to um, people in general. Um, so, you know, I look forward to sharing these videos. Um, thank you for watching and stay well. Bye.